Hello from EDA Blogs. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use an embedded database system in Java application using H2 libraries in Intel IJ IDEA. For this, you need to download H2 libraries. I have given link in description of this video. So download that zip file and extract it to a folder. Open that folder and go inside bin folder and here is a .jar file. We need this jar file and we need to import this inside our application. So create a new project. Simple Java project. So I am just creating a simple project and I will name it as EDA blogs DB finish so now we need to import that jar file in our project so I'll create a new folder inside our project and name it as DB or something else what you want now in the DB folder I will paste that jar file Okay, so now we need to include this inside our libraries. For this, right click on this file and click on add as library. And then okay. Now it's added, added as library. As you can see that we can browse all package and classes of this library. So now we need to include this in our project. So first of all, we will tell our project about driver class. So there is a class name as class and there is a method or name. Here we will provide name of driver which is org.h2.driver. This, this is org package inside that there is a h2 package and inside here is a driver class as we can also check here there is org dot h2 package here is a class name as driver so we, we are indicating this class so we need to catch this exception simply surround by try and catch now we need to create a connection so there is a class as driver manager dot get connection we need to pass url of our database and name of database so url is jdbc colon h2 colon tilde name of our database i'll name my database as eda db and second parameter is username of our database which is by default test and third parameter is password which is also test so we also need to handle this exception so we will just add catch and this is providing an object type of connection so we will store it in connection type variable connection is equal to. So now we can create a statement using this connection variable. So simply create con dot create statement. This will return object type of statement. So store it in statement variable. So now we can execute queries using this statement variable. So st dot execute we will type SQL command, command like create table pawn which will having only name so name which type of where care of 20 length that's it so now we will print a message saying table created successfully so print 
टेबल सो नाउ रन दिस एप्लीकेशन एज यू कैन सी वी गेट अ मैसेज दैट टेबल क्रिएटेड सक्सेसफुली दिस मीन्स अवर डाटा बेस क्रिएटेड सक्सेसफुली सो इफ वी रन दिस एप्लीकेशन अगेन then we will get an exception that table name is already existing as name pavan so let's run this again here is exception that table name pavan already exist in sql statement something something so this is a simple tutorial that how we can embed a database inside our java application so we don't need to use local server or online server because this library has its inbuilt local server thanks for watching this video share this video